Hello everybody, <coughs> and uh, welcome to my favourite fly, the pheasant tail dry fly. Um, yeah, I absolutely love this fly. So many fish on it. I think it covers, covers up many different flies on the water. So right, got a size 14 in the vise. Let's go get a bit of varnish. So I'm using nano silk. So I dab a bit on the hook with the needle. Just to stop from slipping. Now you'll notice I've got a really long tag on this. So just on the body. Because I use the thread for the rib. So it keeps the weight down on the fly. Um. Been out there collecting crabs this morning. <laughs> so right for the tail, I am using. I've lost it. Hmm. Okay, another one. I'm using the large cock hackles fibers of the dark brown from Vineyard. Let's get another one back out. I don't know where I put the other one. They're massive. I just you want to pull out, just pull them straight off the stem, <clears throat> ninety degrees off the stem. And um, you want about half a dozen. So get them nice and straight. Pull them all off. There we go. So yeah. So you want it round about the length of the body. Maybe it's just that little bit longer, just to stick on the water. So mind my fingers. And also I've got to mind that thread as well, the rib. It's the worst thing about when you're leaving the, the tag on the end like that. Put that out of the way. Tie these on, give them a Run through in your fingers just to so they all stick together. Loose tear on the top, and then just pull it round underneath just to kink them up a bit. See, there it's pulled itself up. So now we've already got the ribbon and they're locked off. Just take this just so you're getting a few hackles on this, you see. I right, keep it short the body with that rib out the way. I don't know if you can see that very well. Got the rib right there. So pheasant tail fibers using the centre stem. Um long, long pheasant tail fibers on there. You want a few of them, just pull them straight down. Give them a rip off. Got about six or seven there. I'm not counting. Same again, just pull that right over it. Pull them across. To roughly about where your body's going to end. And touch and turns just to shut that up. Nice and tight. I'm sorry, I haven't got my bleeding light over the top. Just about where you want the body. So you <clears throat> for the top of here, you want your hackle to start halfway along the shank of the hook. Um using a couple of hackles to make that out the way. So then you get this and you turn twist it around in your fingers. So you circle the fibre so it looks a bit like rope. And then strip it around. Keep it nice and tight. And this will give the body like a segment shape. I absolutely love these flies. I like to fish it. Um, 
I can fish it through through fast water, and I can fish it on slow water, but it does not it does not go without doubt. See, I'm only I've got a few turns on there. Let's pull a few bits of copper thread I'm using. Nano silk copper thread. Let's pull it up the way. Go back. Cut in front. Well, then we'll cut them off there. Give that a bit of tie down. And get your rib. You want to rib your rib it the same way. As your thread, I'm catching some things in there. The count away off the fly. I've got a few turns on the back. You can put as many of these in as you want because, like I say, it's only just to protect that, that little bit. And just come over the top and catch the thread back in with the thread over the top of the other one. A couple of turns, pull that thread out of the way. Just to catch it in. It's actually sliding through my fingers. Sorry, I've got no light on. Put light on for you. There we go, that's better. My apologies. See how that's nice and sticking out just over the length of the body. So you imagine that in the water. Give it a fair old uh, bit. So now we are using the fiery red cockhackle from Vineyard, a short wish one which I've already prepared let me get this in here want a bit of wax just putting a few hackles on this just come round, sorry if I'm blocking any light Cut that in. Just on there. The thing about the nano silk is it's really good for um, not snapping on your rough hands. Can I see that? That's the first ackle. So let's get this one wrapped in before we start the other one. Grab your hackle pliers. And twist it around itself. Five is a little bit long, but it does not ski lovely across the water. And it keeps it up in that rough. There's a few of them pushing forward. I'll sort that out, pull them back. Pull them back over. He's like to write him away. That's right, like push them back. I 
That'll snap off. Just like so. That's one hackle in. Then I like to put. I've got an Indian cape. Um, got this one here. I just put this in. It gives it a bit of movement. Indian hen cape. So that one there will keep it on the top of the water. And <clears throat> these ones here will give them a bit more movement on the bottom. So it looks like the legs are moving around on the fly. Tighten the stem so I find it easier. Put these flies to tie in. Sorry for my hands, people, they're massive. It's hard when I'm recording as well. Let's see, I'll just start doing the recording on these flies. Drop that off there, that fibre there, do me in. Push that back up there. Get the snip. Yep. Just pull the fibres back. Applies again. Just to get loads on that. Just gives a nice shape in the fly. Cut off. You can do these on a bigger hoop if you wanted. Just put everything back. off and then the one what get you tying the done fly on it and the blue the blue done fly on the end it's a bit fiddly very fiddly in fact. I keep blocking up the light, which I do apologise. I like to put the blue, just give that little bit of colour in it. The blue doesn't fly. Now you just want a couple of turns with this on the front. Blue dung cock feather. <clears throat> Snip that on there. This fly will not sink. It once you get your ointment on, after a few fish. It's still it'll last you all day. Better off on a size twelve, but I like to use fourteens. So I only want a couple of turns of this fly on here.
is one. Let's pull it back. And there's two. Nip it off. Got the light on there, and we don't have a light on it. <laughs> very, very fiddly, but well worth the, the faff on. <clears throat> Choose your nail just to push it back, like so. Pull it off. Want to cover that one? Off the top of that. I'll get the get that with finish on first. A bit of varnish on the thread. It says there's three hackles on there. Pick my feet. It's a bit thick, but. What a fly. Pull that out of there. Yeah. And there. Just snapped itself off. 